Vandy Bend students. Have you been to the dark side and been practicing your instrument? Your lack of practice is disturbing. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, this is the second uh, video in the Vandy Band series. We're gonna be talking today, still in the Woodwind family, as we can see there. We're gonna be talking about the clarinet today. You can see that I have my handy dandy pointer again, the clarinet, which has the mouthpiece at the top, the ligature, and connects a single reed. Still in the woodwind family because of this reed up here, right? Used to be made of wood, a lot of times now made of plastic. Uh, so many parts to the clarinet, actually seven parts uh, all together when you get it all put together. So that's quite a uh, instrument to put together. As we know, we learn uh, as we go along how to uh, put those together and it goes by quickly once you learn but there's all kinds of different clarinets and I was reading today on this and it was pretty interesting so I thought I would share it said that uh, uh, <clears throat> sorry I think that uh, there's Vader breathing uh, kind of affect my breath a little bit um, so uh, clarinets started in ancient Egypt and from there they spread through North Africa and Europe Clarinets are less common elsewhere in Africa, Asia, and North America, but appear in a great variety of forms in South America, these traditional folk clarinets. So I'm going to show you a picture of them. There's some really cool ones here. Let's see if we can see it pretty well. There's a picture of some of them. Those are pretty neat. Some crazy looking things. Over here is some more. Single reed. Of course, like I said, it's cut, uh, the reed is cut from some cane, um, kind of like you would see like bamboo or something like that. It's cut there. Here's some ones at the bottom. If you can see some one playing, I'm trying to get as best I can. Uh, here's a really cool one to the right. That's called a bumpa. Bumpa is a side blown one. Um, it's made from a millet sock and has a reed at one end of the hole and it's uh there's a it's a small gourd basically pierced with several holes so that's pretty neato um then we have the multiple clarinets just like we had some multiple flutes these widespread uh through the arab countries india uh, south america places like that you can even see this guy down here playing one uh, some crazy ones in brazil look at those very crazy. There's some uh, multiple clarinets, like I said. They can come in double, triple, and even quadruple. Uh, it's pretty crazy. And there's single reeds, uh, area phone. The flute was an area phone because we use air. Clarinet is also an area phone. So the word of the day is area phone. If you would, go to Live Grades um, or um, in Microsoft Office, your school email. Um, email me or send me a live grades message about the flute that we learned about yesterday. Uh, send me some interesting things that you learned uh, from the video, the short video that I put up about the flute. And we'll do this each day. And that would be, I would love to hear from you guys and I'm not getting that many messages. So if you could send me more messages, all right? And uh, like I said, just title it flute on that uh, just so we can get some response back and forth, especially you flute players but everybody is welcome uh, to send that. Uh, our last thing is actually talking about the, the clarinet. Uh, we have different keys of clarinet, and I'm gonna turn this around so you can see them. Let's get a good picture here. There we go. You can see over on the one side, the smallest clarinet there, that is actually the E flat clarinet. E flat clarinet is, uh, let's see, modern clarinet has E flat clarinet, which is the smallest one. Uh, the next one up is the B flat clarinet, which is the one that we see most often, the one that, uh, in our front row that our players play the most, and they start on the B flat clarinet here in America. You also have an A clarinet, which is the third one over uh, from the smallest side. Then you can see you're getting up into the alto clarinet, the one with the curved top, uh, with the 
the mouthpiece at the top, but it curves a little bit. Um, you might see in an orchestra also a thing called an English horn that curves similar to that, but you want to look at the top section and see how the alto clarinet curves slightly. Um, but the um, English horn will look a little different than that, and uh, I would look those up. You can even go online, look up an English horn, and look at the difference between the alto clarinet and the English horn. Uh, then we have the ones um, that Cole plays um, this year, but we have the um, bass clarinet there after the alto, the one that curves even more at the top, so you can see the top differences. You can see the bottom, how much bigger the bass clarinet is to the alto clarinet. Remember the alto clarinet will be an E flat, just like that smallest clarinet, just uh, like the alto saxophone will be an E flat in the woodwinds. So that is similar there. Uh, remember that the bass clarinet is in B flat, just along with the B flat clarinet, also with the trumpet, right? And then you have tenor sax that is also in B flat, just an octave octave difference between the bass tenor and then that of the clarinet and the trumpet. Okay, then at the very top is your contra bass clarinet, and there's all kinds of other ones, uh, but you have your contra bass, which would need to um, set on something or be up higher uh, for most, most people with a contra bass clarinet. You can see the difference at the top uh, between the alto the bass and the contrabass. Contrabass is a really cool one. Uh, my other school, we had a really nice contrabass, but uh, it had to be set up in the office, in, in my band office, because it would, um, if you were taking it apart, since it was an older instrument, uh, there was, it was more likely for it to get tore up, so we just left it out, um, put up in a safe spot against the wall there. Um, but that was a contra bass clarinet. Um, this says here that uh, it, uh, the E-flat clarinet is less common and is used for special effects. It, it appears in Berlioz's Fanta Fantastic Symphony. So if you would, you could look up Berlioz's Fantastic Symphony and listen to the E-flat uh, clarinet. That's pretty cool. Um, but over here is also a B flat clarinet and a alto clarinet right there. Shows you a bigger picture. Also shows you some uh, little things here about Mozart, Brahms, uh, Copeland. It has some different things. Uh, so if you can see that, you can look those up as well. But here's some earlier clarinets. It's good to see some different things so that you can learn, but uh, kind of like the recorder, but you have to see the reed at the top. You see the mouthpiece, and then we'll have a reed. So we have something in this family that's basically, you know, you have your soprano, your alto, your tenor type of instrument, and then your bass. So that's pretty cool in the clarinet family. So you might not have known that. Hopefully you learned something today, and like I said, just keep... Uh, waiting for these videos and we'll put, be putting out more woodwinds uh, later in this uh, series. Thank you.